Well, it took me so long to get back to this game, but Befica is still fully transformed. I know Befica doesn't have a boss one, right? I'm pretty sure Befica doesn't have a boss one, right? <sighs> Befica doesn't have a boss one, right? No. Oh, good. There's only right. four bosses in the entire game. Yeah, four bosses. I you plan... get them from Snorpy, Chandlo, Cromdo, and Wiggle. Yeah, here's the thing though, is that um, I've completed the game and got the good ending. I have where everyone's alive. I'm about to complete the game and get the bad ending. So, yeah. Just saying, tr just transform all of them for the bad ending. It just makes it. It make the thing is, I believe it just. Does it? Help, I believe it makes. Is, it, is it, it only one bug snap that needs to enter them to make them turn to dust, or? I believe if they're all transformed, then yes. I, yeah, I know the only one that cannot be killed at the end of the game is Philbo. Because, you know, that whole, he is integral to the storyline bullshit Actually, he's got. You, you, you need to see the only one that can actually get the, who can get your vehicle started again. Hmm. Because for once he didn't screw up at something. I mean, that joke like, is actually pretty useful throughout the beginning of the game. I wonder I wonder how Bug Snacks would have been like if you didn't see Philbo at the beginning. Yeah. Um also I do like the dialogue options you have in the game. Wait, you wanna know something funny? The difference between you and me when we get to, like, when we're at the area where you need to help Philbo at the beginning of the game, I skip it and you don't. Yeah, I don't skip it, because I just like that. I just like that beginning area. I like how well it's done. I like this game in general. I think this game is really well done compared to... Well, I know what all the snack pod part. The all the snack pod locations in Flavor Falls, I believe it's yeah, Flavor Falls. Well, it's easy with Flavor Falls. Um, so how many of these things do I need to do? I need to get to transform. Oh, no, not to transform, donate. So I'm gonna do the no donations first. I am. And then after I do the donations, I'm gonna also, max Also, that also them. helps if you want to keep a couple of Bombinos. Bombinos? You remember how in the Sizzling Sands, there were so many that were missing, but there was one that looked just so odd with its picture? Yeah. That's a goddamn Bombino. I've never actually Which is exclusive. Bombino. It's exclusive to the Mofsa Supreme fight. Bombino. And well, I'm gonna... also the, launch, the launch pad will be very useful in the boss fight. Let it's me the only guess. way you can you have to launch a Bombino. You launch a Bombino at Mofsa Supreme, Mofsa Supreme falls, you have to use the grappling hook to have this pizza cutter fall on him. Oh god. Oh god. If you if you ever need to know how to do one of the bosses, I can help you. I'm just picturing like it just being sliced in half and just loads of cheese just spraying everywhere like out of a horror show. <laughs> cheese would be its blood. No, it'd be I more think... like tomato ketchup. No, it would be cheese. It would be cheese. 
I or... think it, I think it would be a mixture of it with cheese and uh, and tomato sauce. Well, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. It would be a mixture of that. But of course, it would be a bit too graphic for people. So, yeah. I'm just gonna sprint. Um, oh yeah, his his Chad Chandler. And, you know, uh, this Bug Snacks it. looks like a game for children. But it's only until you play the thing through is, the game you can, enough. You can, a child can play it. It's just they wouldn't get they wouldn't get most of the game. Like they wouldn't understand most of the game. See, the thing is, though, is that when I first started playing this game, I was clueless. I had no fucking idea what to do. At all. I had no fucking idea what to do. Also, just saying, um, the... What's it called? The trip shot is... It's most it's most useful during the sushi boys fight because that's the only way you can hurt them. With the so enough words, the, break them apart. The trip shot one. Yeah, trip shot's the only thing that you can really use. I'm probably going to use that trip shot a lot then. Well, it's the only way you can. Speaking about that trip shot, I would need to do a bit of Chandler's quest line, wouldn't I? Oh, yeah. I also forgot. I need to find the clues strewn around everywhere. If I remember correctly, there's a clue that I found f the first clue. So there's 12 characters in the game. There are 12 characters you can get back at the place. Two of them come straight back, straight away, because, you know, it's Snoopy and Chandler. Oddly enough, Snoopy and Chandler are both in a homosexual relationship. I know this because... Snoopy actually asks Chandler out on a date. Just saying, though, if I... If Cyberpunk comes back to to the PlayStation Store and you got it, yeah, and it was the if you want to do version. stealth, if you want to do stealth, go with cool. Yeah, I know. I've been doing research on it. You go for cool, and basically you can just level up sneaking by just sneaking around. You can. You level up sneaking the most by getting stealth kills. Yeah, but you could do it by just sneaking around as well. Also, um, you would need to up how much RAM you can use. How much RAM? Oh yeah, because you're cybernetic, ain't you? And of course you would use RAM. Yeah, to, you know, I don't know, maybe shut, shut off a camera. Uh, I would like to interview Wiggle right now, but I don't want to progress the story any further just yet. Because uh, it's pop ticks and. Alright, so what was I gonna do? What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was gonna get a bunch of bungers and just feed it to uh, Wampus. I was right. I was gonna get a bunch of bungers and feed it to Wampus. Wampus, sorry. Wampus. <gasps> Sounds like a, a bootleg Krampus. <laughs> but it's Wampus, not Rampus. Uh, 
don't know if they are going to make a sequel to this game, by the way. Which, to be honest, I don't know if they will. Pie or sugar sticks. This is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear during the day. But not when it's raining. You can tell that these, you can tell that these ancient Krampus, Gram, Grampus, I can't remember what, Grumps, Grumpus, used to fight with the, the watermelon one and all that, obviously after they, took off the top half of the watermelon they used to eat the seeds which were also bug snacks as well so in the end but yeah there's only four boss fights There's a uh, call popper? Is that a call popper? Mr. Wandering, are you going to do any side missions? I'm going to do side missions, yes. I'm going to do side missions, I'm going to do all the missions. I'm basically going to try 100% this game. Dr. Sodi. Bungers, huh? 100% as in 100% all the trophies? Oh yeah, I... this is gonna make it harder. This is gonna make it hard. So what are you gonna do, get every trophy in the game? I can try. Have you got the one way where, where you put cheese on someone then take a picture of them? Got that one yet? Something fell, and I don't know why, but I think it might be my blanket actually. I think it might be my blanket just falling down the side. Just gonna pick up both these bungers. Right, so how do you deal with the Sodi then? What, you wanna get a Dr. Sodi? Yeah. I think you need Just throw to... down a trap. Just throw down a snack trap and then activate it. Wait, it's that simple. It's that simple. That's how you get all of them. Even the one oh up in the frozen God. area. It is that simple. Yeah, um, the trap will freeze up in the... the cold area, so you have to act fast. They're not afraid of anything. I know they're not. Because they just shoot everything. What does? All the Seldies. They see something they don't like, they shoot it. Well, yeah, they spray water on it, don't they? 
they really don't like it at all. So in order for me to get the stuff I need to, I'm going to have to go back to Snacksville. I'm obviously going to start donating bungers and all that too. You know. I think it's called Grumble. I don't know what his name is. Yeah, somewhere. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a um uh Ribapete 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 Oh yeah, I got his wife back, I forgot about that. There's Bert and Eggabel. What just it turns out the bad ending, right, is actually the good ending. Turns out me feeding everyone bug snacks turns out that um, you know <laughs> me everyone trans me transforming everyone uh basically you know was actually the right thing to do it turns out in the end everyone escapes even Eggabel and fucking Lisbeth it'd <laughs> be funny if that was actually the true ending <laughs> like she wasn't transformed at the end it'd be funny if that was the ending sleep till 5am wish I was a sleep till 6am option but again there's not a lot of things up. Hey. Again, I'm probably sure that your person sleeps till mm, sweetie fly. Huh? I didn't know it was that simple though to just capture Sodi. I didn't know it was that simple. I'm being serious. I know how you get a cob hopper, but it's kind of difficult. I kind of find it a bit crazy. I kind of find the little pause what the characters have to be really cute. For some other reason. Like, just give you a pause, just give you a pause. I know they intentionally made them adorable, the characters, so you'd be like, oh, I don't want to kill them, but I'm going to be killing them at the end of the game. After I kill them, I'm just gonna fucking just leave them. Hey, you pal. I'm just going to feed you a soda, and I will get your teeth. Back. At first, it was like, oh, you can customize your character. Like, they spoiled nothing in the... Well, te technically, the only... Sp 
boiling point of the game, though, is that I was expecting the bug snacks to become sentient at the end. Because if you remember on the future of game and event when they were showing bug snacks off, you saw the bug snacks kind of just form a body and just start running at the camera. Yeah, I remember that. At the end of the the trailer, I still got yeah, that, I, I still got that memorized in my head. I do. At first, I was like. Oh, they're gonna become sentient and start forming bodies. But it turns out. They were the most sentient thing on that island. They were already the most sentient thing on the island. No, I don't, I don't just mean that. They were the first things there, making them the smartest there. Oh, wait, yeah, I got rid of. Uh, I got rid of the. the Sodi. Here and fed it to um, uh. Also, later, way I would recommend um, doing the to um. Donate the things. Um, get a rootle and the two strawberries that are there. Um, a pinkle if you're lucky enough. Pink? You mean white? What? You mean white? Oh, oh no, a pinkle. Sorry, I thought you said a pink one. Sorry, I, s I got really like fucking. I need five crowns on um, four guys just to get the scouts uh, skin. That's Plus a nin ninjas in the game now. Do your nose. Trophy and a combo meal. Oh, because I've got the... Yeah, because I've got a Frida, a uh, Bunga, and a... Yeah. I'm gonna do... Your head. Now. So when I come over to your mission, well, before I do your mission actually, so I need to do your two legs first. Let's see what Ninja's favourite um, mini games are then, because there's something called Star Show Ninja. Let's just see what it is then, because I'm actually quite curious. Probably gonna take forever though to find a match. Oh yeah, I don't have a bunga. Oh shit, I don't have a bunga to get the Frida, get the Shushka bugs. I mean, if you crouch and slowly approach the Shushka bug, you can get lucky enough for it to not run. Tundra run is one of um, Ninja's favorites apparently. Just thought I'd mention that, because it's, it's appeared. And I've got the player's map, so this gives me the chance. Oh, wait, yes, I have. This is the, this is the one that's stupid, because everyone here is ninja, except for me. I'm just gonna creep my way. Wait, is this actually working? Am I actually going to be able to approach a shishka bug? You gotta be kidding me, am I actually going to be able to approach it? Wait, so you can sneak up on shishka bugs? 
without them noticing you. Oh, so you can only get so close before it starts running off. Okay. Yeah. With the whole... I'm not here anymore, Shishka Bug. I'm not here anymore. Qualified. The little paws on my character is adorable. You know, when I was expecting this, I wasn't expecting this to be a first person game. When I first saw like the announcement trailer on the future I mean, I, ex I expected it to be a multiplayer game. So did I, but no, it's a single player. Yeah, it'd be funny though if they added a special mode that's actually multiplayer. It's basically a bug snacks hunt. Yeah. Where, where, like you have you. Like, it takes place from one of the areas. And let's say this is like five players, so four bug snacks and one, uh, one Grampus. Basically, there's a bunch of normal ones, and then there's player controlled ones. Yeah, and you, like. It's kind of you... like. Guess who? Gmod, guess who? I just wanted to say that because normal guess who is just that asking be questions. Really good. That would actually be really good for a uh, game mode, that would. Just have someone as. Just have some people as snack bugs and have one grumpus. And it's basically like. Obviously, you can choose between being a. A predator one or a prey one, like you could be a shishka bug or you could be a scoopy banoopy if you wanted to. But like you'd get the choice based on the area. Yeah. So if you were in the first desert area, you'd get the barbecue bunga choice. But you'd really have to play the part of the barbecue bunga. Yeah, like means you would have to literally a second you when see you, the person you have to charge. Once them. once they approach you, charge at them. You know what they should do, right? They should also like add a dedicated button that if you if someone's near you, you press it, and it does like the little like face or the love hearts in it. Like appear above its head. And while you're moving, you know, like bungu, bungu, bung, that kind of stuff. No, it's like bungu, 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 bungu. When you start sprinting at them. <laughs> to be honest, bungus are some of my favourite because they're, they're, it's so easy the only, to. The only thing that would give you your way though is if you would track them. And you you would get the abilities of that bug snacks. So, so example, like, bungos, Afraida allows you to go on walls and on ceiling. the ceiling. Yeah, walls or the ceiling. It's the same with the scorpion one. Like, the second you spot someone on the scorpion one, you have to throw the... Like, you press, like, circle or something like that to do, like, the... Little speech bubble thing. It's like a very, very, it makes it very, very hard on the people to know which one is actually you. And they would get a fully upgraded storage, which would be their guesses. Yeah. And let's just say if they captured you and you were in their inventory, if you were a bug snack, you had to guess which, but which one of you was the real one by feeding you to another, by an NPC, Grampus. Grumpus. By feeding you to an NPC Grumpus, say like, I don't know, like, Befica or something like that. 
if you were a weenie worm. It will say that I old them are there. Like, we'll say, well, how like, about, like... Like, if, if, like, let's make it, like, if the, if the bug snacks win, by the way, it gives them one last chance to guess which one's who, when it goes into, like, an inventory screen that comes up on thing, and they have to, like, vote which one is the real one, and if they get it wrong, it basically starts the match all over again, kind of like, among us with like the imposters and all that it'll be, it'll be like imposter was not the imposter except or or you can make like an among us game mode where it's like everyone's a bug snack but there's one bug snack that's basically a double agent <laughs> and their job is to ruin the other bug snacks day secretly that means like there'll be say for example there'll be nests around and like the the other bug snacks that aren't the imposter one or you could call them an impasta if you wanted to to put all the food puns in the game like one that isn't the impasta and <laughs> that's so so weird but it's kind of like a little, a little meeting in the middle, a little meeting room in the middle. It's like a little nest they go into to discuss who's the impasto or not. Let me guess, the impasto is actually pasta, but. It would be like it would be like, like an it would be like a noodler in disguise because that's still pasta. It'll be like a noodler in disguise, so you can like, for example, when you attack as a noodler, it makes like you temporarily in temporarily visible as a noodler when you're destroying stuff. But the thing is, though. No one, the person's name doesn't appear on top of their head. So the second they cap, they catch them and report them to the other bug snacks, they don't know who's who. So it could be anyone. That would be so cool though to see in this game. I don't think it'll get much of an attention, as you know, actual Among Us would, but it'd be worth a shot. I think the will would just sell like Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I actually see where you come out at the end of the game. I actually see the little oh. hole you look out. You you look out into the forest at the end of the game. It's up there it is. But yeah. Like, imagine like the possibilities though, ain't there? Now I'm not putting like ideas in the But, but I'm not like trying to put ideas on their head, but that would be a really nice kit mode. Think how crazy that would be though. Nice to see ya. Queeble was not the impasta. Imagine seeing that appear on the screen. <laughs> on the screen. Queeble was not the impasta. Ra Weenie um, Worm was not the impasta. <laughs> Scoopy Banoopy was not the impasta. I just imagine like... It'll be like... It'll be like Philbo is like the person standing next to like this lava pool. Well, not really a lava pool. It'd be like 
some type of like liquid that will kill the bug snack. Well, not really kill it, but you know, he'll throw it. No, it'd be like a hole actually. They throw them down a hole. And like, when they get thrown down a hole, whoever's the imposter, like, Philball comes on screen and goes, Yeah, he used to like that. Or oh, you've got him, or something like that. It'll be like, it'll be like, Weenie Worm is the, is an imposter. <laughs> Winnie Worm was the noodler. <laughs> That's the simplest way to put it. We oh yeah, the noodler. It'll be except instead of Among Us, it'll be Cookers instead. <laughs> you know, you know if um, if you got any of the desert areas, it would allow you to be a cheap poof. Allow you to be a cheap poof. Yeah, and the one that I was on about. Yeah, cheap poofs. <laughs> just like it replaces. So that way, there's not an odd number of them. It replaces one with you, and let's just say you could press a button to follow its path. Yeah. And it would also show that purple thing on its path for only you. And how does this impasta go about destroying the nests? Easy. Just have it so, like, whenever the impasta is destroying the nest, it doesn't show the person's name above the head. But it shows their name above the head when they're, say, like a cheapu for a, uh... A cheapoo for Snoopy Banoopy and all that. So everyone would know each other's names. It's just they don't they won't know who it is. They won't know who it is when they look when they spot the impasta doing the destroying the nest. There could be a total of three impastas and like I'd say about 20 other characters, so it'd be like 22, 23 characters. Because come on, it's on the PS5, it's gonna be able to handle more than 10 people like it does in Among Us. <laughs> Among Us is supposed to have it go up to 15, I believe. It does, but most people it's... just invite 10 of their friends though. No, it. It's not got the 15 thing yet. Hasn't it? I'm oh, taking a picture of me, Befka. I'm taking a picture of you back. Befka hates... Oh, she hates two people. Who's that she hates? What they look like. They're a... Oh, yeah, I know who that is. Cromdo? It's, yeah, it's Cromdo and Philbo she hates. There's actually, a, there's actually a lot more characters hates. than you would expect that hate Cromdo. I know, um, what's his name? I know, um... I know Gramble. Gramble hates. Um. Crap, what is his name? His name is Wampus. Wampus. Ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's. Wampus. He hates Wampus. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna check. Right, real quick. Wait, do I have the bungas on me still? Oh no, I fed two, both the bungas to fucking... <clears throat> no, I'm gonna sleep in Chandler's bed for now. Fuck it. Or was... Yeah, that's Chandler's bed. I think Chandler... What's oh, not Chandler's head bed. 
That was what's his name's bed. I, s I slept in a uh, Gramble's bed. I do like how, like, they made these characters look a bit like puppets. I do like that, how they kind of, like, went for, like, a puppet-like look of them on the Grumpus designs. Like, all of them have, like, almost an identical mouth. The only difference is teeth on some of them. And size. And size. Oh, also body shape and all that. Like, you know, Wiggle's shape is more of a slender, feminine look. Well, Cromdo is just Cromdo. Cromdo We don't is, speak about that. Cromdo is just... You want something? It looks like he could, he could like, set... He's like... He looks like one of those people who would, like, pick up, like, water from a lake and then try to sell it to you. That's Cromdo. I mean, you're not wrong, are you? I'm not wrong, because he tries to sell you a bridge. He tries that to he sell knows you is a broken. bridge. Which he knows is broken. Oh, hello. I'm going to pet you. The only time it does anything good is closer to the end of the game. Of those drinks. Yeah. Those drinks, yeah. Also, at the end of the game, by the way, it threw me for a loop, it did. There's Wampus and Triffany. See, Rampus just wanted to, like, make a living by being a farmer, while Triffany is basically an archaeologist, two polar opposites of the type. Literally, two polar opposites. They're literally polar opposites. They are. Triffany and Wampus. Like, it's absolutely crazy. <clears throat> like, one's an archaeologist, and the other's a farmer. Those are two completely opposite things. And yet they're married. Don't. Well, you know, be... we really didn't know the story when we first played the game. No, we didn't. We thought, oh, it's just going to be oh, sentient yeah. bug snacks that are going to form a body and chase us eventually. No. Uh, That's what... End up being that thing. At the end of the game... That thing is... You know, they try and take control of the Grumpses, but what if the Grumpses take control of them? Ooh! Also, it's well, funny. that seems to be what happened with the ancient Grumpuses. They kind of learned And at the to... end of the game. Yeah, and at the end of the game. Because they started learning that, you know, these things aren't what they look to be. They're not what they seem to be. That's something you should avoid completely. <laughs> I bet you Eggabelle before, you know, Finny came in. I bet you Eggabelle before, um, you know, before she comes into the final part of the game. 
I don't want to spoil too much things for people. I don't want to spoil too much things for people. Elizabeth and Agabelle. They're basically... It's kind of weird because... Elizabeth and... Agabelle is like... They're lesbians. They are. Which, if you don't know what a lesbian is, it's basically two women who are into one another. So there's a lot of like... So, at least it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, occasionally the you see the characters run to the toilet and start taking a poo. I don't know why you would want to... Like, I don't know why they did that. That isn't necessary, but it's a clever attention to detail. It shows that these people have been eating stuff, and it does show that they have been wanting to go for a shit. Or a piss. Or maybe both. Perhaps. Perhaps. Or, you never know. They're just completely shitting out a bunch of, like, remains of the bug snacks. The bug, the bug snack. Googly eyes. <laughs> the bug snack googly eyes. Things are kind of creepy, to be honest. Uh, okay. Again, this you... game is like appealing to kids, so googly. Uh, if you find googly eyes creepy, then you clearly haven't had a proper childhood. Then <laughs> it's the reason. Googly eyes is the reason why the bug snacks. Oh, don't the forget bug part of it. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the whole, you know. So do, so do, so, so, so do. So I just like the little song it does. Ah, so do Yeah, so do Yellow so do Yellow so Yeah, they're called What Dr. is your so least What is your least favourite bug snack? And I mean this by t Like how to catch them And this does not include any of the big ones Like Scoopy Banoopy Um Oh my least it favorite is... one would have to be an inch wrap. Inch wrap. Because inch well, I actually know are... an easy way to get an inch wrap. Yeah, but inch wraps are underground most of the time, so. Yeah, but you know, you know that one part. Um. Where there's that statue of the Grumpus in Flavor Falls. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually find one there that keeps going out the ground. Got rid of the Seldy, which is something I wanted to. Dr. Seldy. Oh, well, I've got the bungers again. Banger! 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 Yeah, um. I'm gonna try my best to get all this done. I am. Oh no, I forgot to tell Mark I was live streaming. He's gonna make me do a couple afterwards. Hey, buddy. Doesn't he do that anyway? Yeah, he does, but he normally does it in a small cup. 
this time it's gonna be a big fuck off cup. It's gonna be in the cup Dean used to use. It's gonna be in that cup, which I'm completely fine with, but... Hey, at least it gets use again. At least it gets use again, instead of this Lonsdale London cup just being there in his room. I still don't approve of him using that cup though. That cup belongs to Dean and Shell Fireball belongs to Dean. But Dean's not around to protest anyway, so I can't. I mean sometimes Muck would use that cup anyway. Yeah. And Dean didn't really care. Dean really did not care, no. Oh yeah, I forgot I got Pinantula. Okay, so there you go, Pinantula by using a Crabble. Yeah. I take it. Turns out when the Crabble's got the Pinantula on his head, and you approach the Crabble, you can actually get the pi the, the Pinantula to basically drop to the ground. When it drops to the ground, before it goes back into the ground, you can quickly press, um, well, actually while it's carrying it, you can press square and catch it in the net. I do find it a bit crazy though that pinantulas are literally... Pineapple tarantulas. Yeah. Right, upgrading my... Where is it? Should I go? I should go to the beach, actually. Yeah, I'll go to the beach. You know, my least favourite uh, out of the bunch, by the way, of... My least favorite out of the bunch of characters in this game have to be goddamn motherfucking. When is my next reaction video? I've never done a reaction video in like almost nine or ten years. Well, eight or. Nine I don't think years. this one person on Fall Guys understands that you can't have your arms out and dive at the same time. In five years, yeah. I don't think I'll do a reaction video again. You did a reaction video... Five years ago. You only did it two times and... Dog of Wisdom and... Uh, what's the other one? Ah uh, yes. I like uh, how my character's uh, not drowning at this point, though. But the uh, moment you go further, but the moment you go further, your character's lungs just collapse. Do they? You just respawn. To put it simply. Okay, so. But on on PS4, that's actually the longest time it takes for respawn. What? You... <sighs> you know what? So weird, because I feel the waves in the controller touch my character's feet. I don't feel it when he's like... so weird, like the haptic, the the haptic engine in this thing is really crazy. Alright, so, okay, so, oh yeah, the crab all. Don't care if that raspberry's being scared. Got you, you bitch.
Yeah, I forgot Queebles are really, really, really scared of... I can't actually remember what a Crabble sounds like. It goes Crabble, Crabble, Crabble. Something like that. <laughs> Crabble. <laughs> I, th I, uh, think the, I think the hardest one to do the voice of would actually I wonder, probably have oh. to be the Scoopy. Scoopy Banoopy. Scoopy Banoopy. Yeah, it would be actually because whoever did that voice nailed it. You know, I hate I hate Shish Kabug when it constantly runs in and out of a bush, but the voice actor for Shish Kabug I like. I think the voice because act they did a really good damn they did a damn good job. Oh wait. Oh, is that crumble gonna spot the pinantula covered in covered in uh chocolate yet? Yes it is. <laughs> Yellow's lost again. Yellow's oh, yeah, I forgot lost. about the I forgot about the jacket skin. Although I should actually say Richard. Hotline Miami. Woo. You know why? Why do so many people just suddenly have crowns to buy all the cool skins? I don't know. Yeah, I can't. It? I it's... can't even win once. I wouldn't even be able to win against bots on this game. The only way I've ever got crowns is through the stupid battle pass thing that I'm not much of a battle pass, so I'm more of a season pass. More of, you know, just no buying, no premium crap. Everyone gets it. For free. Gives you crowns, cool skins, oh, yeah. titles, that kind of stuff. Go about. Pinantula. 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 La 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 la. Yeah, I bet you yeah, they taste. I, I bet you yeah, they um, taste the same as like a like a normal pineapple. I bet you yeah, they do as well. Cause I mean, I would eat a bonga if like if bug sacks were real and not the parasite versions. <clears throat> you you could guess they're parasites, and also you know there's so many bloody. Full playthroughs of the game that if you don't know they're parasites, then I don't know what. You don't know what they're parasites, and what the fuck have you been? Like, like, really, the way you been if you don't know which ones are parasites? Like, if if bug snacks weren't parasites and were real, I would I would totally eat a bunga. I would just <laughs> fry down bunga. I wonder with crabbles if you still have to boil them. <laughs> oh God! Or, or do you just have? To... Or do you just have to really pull off the claws and then just eat it that way? I don't know, some <laughs> crab species you can just pull off the claws and eat raw. 
Well, you can do what some guy did and kill one with a rock. Yeah, you can kill one with a rock. The guy just killed it with a rock, though. Didn't even think twice about doing it. He just did oh, it. Gosh. That uh, Queeble is going after that. Oh, hello, Pinantula. Hello, Pinantula. Hello, Pinantula. Pin oh. oh, fuck you. Fuck you, Pinantula. You want to be a bitch to me? I could be a bitch to you as well. A full grape fly? I would just grab out the end. Just... Oh god, the grape skeeter. Yeah, the grape skeeter's just grabbing, just. I got a double trapper trophy. Oh, so... trapping two things in one trap. Yeah, trapping two things in one, in one trap. Wait, if you trapped four things in one trap before? No, but I actually want to try that. It's funny to do. Because it, it's just there, like... They're just all there, like... I'm a dumb bug snack. I'm pretty sure the more bug snacks are in the thing, the faster they break out of the... Yeah, but if you got the grappling hook, then you just yoink. Give me a crab They're gonna give me a crab Mmm, yummy crab I slurp your you? crab in your poop. <clears throat> yeah. Would you, would you eat a quickie? Most likely, yes, I will eat a cookie. I will eat a cookie and I'll make sure I feel the pain. I don't think bugs next can feel pain. Oh no, if they voluntarily just jump their way into the mouths of the grampuses. Hey. You know, it's a weird thing to think of, but have you ever considered that a bug snack might have tried to crawl out the mouth of one of them while the grumpus is trying to eat them? Oh god. Like, they just throw a strawberry and then it just clings onto the edge of their mouth. Like, no, 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 they're like, get in my mouth, no. They do just punch it. 
Just, just punch it. He just the... baps it with a little paw into there. Yeah, I'll be back in a moment. I'm being my best fly impression. I've got the maximum upgrade for the backpack. I've got the maximum inventory upgrade now. Oh, so you should have like 
18 slots of space? I think it's about 18 slots. I'm gonna check. Let's see. Inventory. Yeah, about 18. I'd say. Actually, no. Yeah, eight. No, 19. Because. There's 9 there. There's 9 on the left, and there's 9 on the right. Wait, yeah, that'd be 18. Yeah. 18 slots. Hello, be cheerful. Why right now? Okay. Oh my god, sandstorm, sandstorm, sweet fire. Spuddy. Mm -hmm. Scared me. What scared you? Fucking Spuddy, I ran past it and I didn't hear it charging at me, so when I saw it in the corner of the screen, it fucking scared me when it was charging at me. <laughs> fucking scared me that did. Don't fucking do that again, game. Oh, it's another Spuddy. <laughs> Don't see me here, Spuddy. You know what? I've just noticed that big look. Thank you. Fear, yeah, you'll see yourself.
Puffy snack pot. No way, it's raining. So I just, I just... interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> on TV talking big about this new super and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Nah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for drugs. <laughs> what do I think of it? It's delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of money town, baby! Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Bethica didn't like that! 
Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging. That's a community service, pal. But Beth Hicka planted evidence in my hat, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so brave, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabelt fixed. The rest of us were just disposable. Uh, That's what? Elizabeth Mega Fool. When push came to shove, she obeyed me. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpies around. I learned early on that life is like a boxing track. You always know what you're gonna get. Therese. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisburn after that. Well, if I remember correctly, after you do the interview with Quando, that's when you can do... The one for Flifty. I hate Flifty so much. Flifty's such a bitch, she is. But you always have to have that snarky fucking character in a game now, don't you? You always gotta have that snarky bitch in a game. It wouldn't be a 2020 game without her. Do you know any other character that has a boss? Does Flifty have a boss on the end of hers? I hope not. Oh, what's shaking, baby? I'm no stranger to interview. Darling, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> You've certainly heard my number one single, a Do the Wiggle. You see, Wiggle Wiggle Bottom needs no introduction. Wiggle Wiggle Bottom. <laughs> well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. Away. You know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time. And I've been accused of being a woman. Supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug cats are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Bug snacks are forbidden food stores. I believe something exists to keep me from. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. That's simple. I was following Brandon. He certainly knows his way. No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too smart. 
sweet, like a little crabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Ah, Lisbeth. She and Agabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed into the airplane. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Not nearly as often as I'd like. <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. It got her to stop wiggling. I feel the warm glow of free publicity. I know my story about the Queen sounds far fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. You got a new clue. Wiggle gave you a map to Lid's last location. Check your journal for details. You wiggle woo. You fucking wiggle woo. I don't want to go to Sugar Pine. Just yet. <laughs> I found it funny when I saw like a walking Oreo walking around I was like there's a walking Oreo and you're like what? I was like there's a walking Oreo <laughs> you didn't believe me at first Okay, so... Oh my god. Fluffy. I can get really up close to them. I didn't notice I could get really up close to them. I 
can get like super close to them. I mostly didn't do that. I don't know. I'll go go to Wiggle and get really close to her. Can I do it with you? I can do it with you. I didn't notice I could get that close to them. Wiggle. Oh my god. Yeah, I can get really close to her. Fuck no, I didn't know I could get that close to them. Fuck it out. How about you? How about you? Can I get, yes, I can get super close to you. I like how. Like, oh god, I gotta see Befika now. Up close. Like, really up close. Where's Befika? There she is. Oh, you don't look that bad when you're up close. Why were you looking at your bed there? I can get really close to them. Oh, you, I forgot about you. Oh my god, you get super close to fucking Triffany. <laughs> <laughs> Get really close to them. Like, their hitbox must be really small for me to get this close to them. I can't go any closer than this, but. Uh, it moves me away from them when I go to talk to them. I could go really close to you. What's going on, Wiggle? Hello, darling. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well. Look at that. <laughs> I could go really close to them. to see your fucking the inside of your fucking head man <laughs> so if I look off to the right a little <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna fucking die I'm gonna die it's gonna re end me If I look directly at him, he's completely fine. Yes, until he does that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing at that. It's because I'm that close to him. It's doing that, but. I can't go close to them anymore. Not the image of like <laughs> Wambus's head going through my body or go through the camera. Fuck <laughs> 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 Oh 
There was no expect. <laughs> I couldn't see it again. I'm sorry. I see it again. <laughs> He's looking at me as well. <laughs> See how he literally rolls to the back of his head to look at me. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I, 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 oh. God, he looks nightmare inducing when you crouch next to him. I didn't know you could go right up close to the characters like that. I always st stood at least a meter away from them so I could see their face. Look, this is Philbo. I could go right up to him. Right up to him. I mean, like, really right up to him. I mean, like, super close to him, up to him. I will set you on fire. Oh, I can't set you on fire. Like, look, how close I could go. It is absolutely like. Taking a picture of that. Oh fuck! I was on fire. Good thing you can't die in this game, ain't it? Yet. Oh my god, I can well, go super unconscious. Yeah, more of like it will knock you unconscious and you wake up and it's just like. <laughs> It'd be funny, it'd be funny though, if at the beach, like, two crabbles bring you back over to the entrance. They just throw you. They just throw it's you like, back at the it's entrance like, and then that's it's like it. Four, it's like four crabbles just, like, bring you back, like, Monster Hunter style. <laughs> you know, like, with the palicos and they bring you back in, they just throw you off of the fucking thing, it'll be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Except you see it in the first person view, so it'll make you vomit in real life. <laughs> oh, no, that wouldn't actually make you vomit in real life. What the fuck? I never noticed about them. I never noticed them. Nice night out. close to you and yet you don't care you know you know it'd be really nice though is if like you went really close to them and they'd be like why are you this close to me <laughs> like they don't shove you away or anything it's just they just question why you're that close to them 
nice night out. The Wambus. Fire. Still fire. I can see my character's feet, I can, but. And his body, his little fluffy body. But I can't see his face. I'd re you know, I'd really like, though, eventually when they. Go ridiculously close to them when they're asleep. There. I can even walk on some of them when they're asleep. Does he really not care that I'm jump jumping on him right now? Kind of just messing around at this point. Oh, my God. I have to take a picture of this. You know that hang on, hang on there. That hang on there thing with the cat on the that that rope there's literally um, one of these that say hang in hanging hang hang in there baby it's literally a parody of that hanging in there baby I wonder what other posters I can see But what was it even Lisbeth? That's her there. Yard sod. Yeah, I think I might actually just stop the stream now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see my nephew tomorrow as well. I'll see ya.